I've got an opportunity to explore and experience the vast lands of rural China. I traveled from Shanghai to Xizhou and stayed for 28 days studying about the topic of green energy. Once I advanced my knowledge about rural China, I wanted to know more about the environmental development here in Xizhou. The three most common energy sources that I noticed were hydro, wind power, and solar power energy. I noticed all these are renewable types of energy, so I decided to narrow down my topic to renewable energy sources. Many would say that rural China, like Xizhou, has some financial instability to be able to advance to green energy sources, but the development and the economics of these sources of energy are quite fast here. In order to see the development of renewable energy sources in Xizhou, one must consider the economics, the village's dependence, and the perspectives. To me, the definition of green energy is the energy source that gen generates electricity in an eco-friendly way without harming the environment as well as not emitting any carbon dioxide emissions. Renewable sources are sources that are renewable and sustainable at the same time it's not harmful to the environment. First, I would like to talk about the economics behind these renewable sources of energy. First side of Xizhou, you'll be greeted by electricity poles that have a wind turbine and a solar panel attached to generate enough electricity for the evening ahead. These pole lines are known to be government funded as it was a national movement to promote green energy sources as well as promote ecotourism. I went to see a solar panel salesman to get to know the place and the price of private owned solar panels that you see on almost every roof here in the village of Xizhou. These solar panels function as water heaters for each household. These solar panels are supplied by a company called Fei Diaozi and the supplier originates from Shanghai. On average, the store starts to buy about 100 solar panels in one year, selling about 69 solar panels in one month, making 200 RMB profit on each panel sold. One of these panels, about 2,900 kwai, and monetary incentives are prepared by the government so that the villagers will be able to buy and good benefits will come, including a three-year free insurance if anything goes wrong with the solar panel. Mostly, the private solar panels are self-bought by the villagers using their own budget. Good incentives are made due to the government's desire to promote green energy and supporting its national movement to have a good impact on the environment in rural China. The hydro dam is another renewable source of energy. It's known to generate a lot of electricity for lighting in the households in the village of Xizhou. The wind turbines generate enough electricity to power government funded facilities. I headed for the water treatment center where water is filtered and that the whole center is known to be powered by both the hydro and the wind turbines up in Jima Shan Mountain. Throughout my journey, I realized that financial instability doesn't have to do with anything as it was one big national movement to promote these sources of energy. And because of these sources of energy, more job opportunities and profits are coming from the sellings of these sources. Now I'll be moving on to the village's dependence on how dependent the villages are to these green energy sources. Like any villager, villagers want a comfortable lifestyle and need to depend on renewable energy sources to make their lives easier and cheap. I interviewed Mr. Duan, who gave me some useful information on the villages dependence on their sources of energy. Private owned solar panels on the roofs of the houses are mainly used to heat up the house's shower water Mr. N, another local contact interviewed, said most villagers would use solar panels only to heat up their shower water. Even the London center, where we're staying, uses solar panels to heat up water in every room, as it's constantly good for use. More than 80% of the villagers have solar panels on their roofs, as they're both economically cheap and constant to use. The light is a huge part in the night. The villagers themselves don't need to do anything to make this happen besides paying their electricity bills. The lighting is powered by a hydro dam that generates electricity for the whole village. Two main electricity generators are the hydro dam and the wind turbines. As you can see, 
The wind turbines are huge with 32 meter wings and 80 meter in height. And almost over 100 turbines are spinning, generating electricity for the entire village and far out areas. Besides, the use of gasoline and firewood, mostly the main three sources of energy, contributes so much that everything they go out and do is functional because of these three main sources of energy here in Xizhou. Now, these sources of energy sound environmental friendly and good, but let us move on to the perspectives of these renewable sources of energy. I interview specific people here in Xizhou, trying to get their opinions towards this topic. Mr. Duan, the governor, Mr. Duan, the solar panel salesman, Mr. In, the electrician, Xiao Tang, a local contact, Mr. Yang, a water treatment center staff. The replies I got were all quite interesting. They claim that it is a new step to sustainable development for the near future, and is glad that the government is taking quick actions to save the environment. Mr. Duan, the solar panel salesman, so that these implications of renewable sources of energy will create more job opportunities for the people here in Xizhou, making Xizhou get the economic advantage. Xiao Tang gave me the most interesting reply of all. She believes that it is the government's way to heighten ecotourism and a way to beautify Xizhou, investing so later on in the near future, big profits will come out of Xizhou. She also believes that Xizhou would have stayed the same without these implementations of these sources of energy. Overall, my 28-day journey truly has been an amazing one. With all the experiences that I got and all the interactions I've had, sparked a new beginning, a new perspective to my life.